In this video, I'm going to be fixing my hawk's beak, or in falconry terms, coping my hawk's beak. Now before we get started, I just want to address the title of this video. My hawk's beak wasn't technically broken, nor did it need fixing, but it did need some work. And in falconry, we call this coping. I didn't think it would make sense to a lot of the people that would watch this video if I released a video called Coping My Hawk's Beak and I thought trimming a hawk's beak just sounded pretty brutal. Beak coping is something that we have to do with many birds. A lot of birds will sort themselves out, but most of the birds here in captivity will need a cope from time to time. But to understand what's going to happen in this video, I thought first we'd best go over a little bit of beak anatomy. The beak is made up of three main layers. In the centre is the premaxilla and lower mandible bones. This is surrounded by a spongy layer with blood supply, and that's then coated by the part that we see which is made out of keratin. So what actually is coping? Coping is where we trim and file the keratin layer of the beak. There are four areas to cover when we do this. The main tip at the front of the beak, as well as the sides of the maxilla, and then the tip at the front of the lower mandible, as well as the sides of those. But why do we actually do this? Uh, the keratin part, like our fingernails, grows all the time. And in the wild, um, they'll be picking up prey, they'll rub it on rocks and the hard bones of the prey uh, will naturally just help to wear it down. Whereas in captivity they don't get that as often and so the bees uh, grow um, and we have to cut them. Otherwise they do just break um, and then it can start to bleed and they can have difficulties eating. So I'm just going to take a little bit off. A little bit more. <laughs> So she, she can't feel this, it's just, it's like cutting your nails, you can't feel that. Just over a week ago I got a brand new hawk, and I actually made a video about training her in her first week. Although she came to a beautiful feather condition, her beak was in desperate need of a bit of attention. The first step, and probably the most risky part, is to trim down the main point of the beak. It's important not to take off too much because exposing the vascular layer isn't a good idea when the bird uses their beak to eat. This could lead to infection. A common technique is to take a picture of the bird's beak when it's a juvenile, which allows you to match it when coping. I don't have that luxury with this bird, so I just have to be careful with how much I take off. I then use a flat file to begin to shape the point. First I take down the sides one at a time, making sure it's even on both sides and somewhat symmetrical. I then use a round file to shape the curve at the back of the beak. There's a lot of fine tuning involved in the main point as this is the most visible part of the beak.
I then used my thumb wedged in the soft part at the back of the beak to hold it open. Using a flat file again, I take down the sides of the maxilla. It's important to file these parts as they grow very thin and if left to grow too long, they might break and crack the beak. I then use a flat file to take down the sides of the lower mandible. It's really important to keep an eye on the growth of these sides and make sure they don't become overgrown as they curl inwards as they grow. I then file the front of the lower mandible to prevent it catching on the maxilla. I always save the lower mandible for last because this area seems to be just a little bit more sensitive. A final check comparing to the original state shows a much better length. So there we have it, that's how I fixed my hawk's beak. Now I know it looked a little bit rough for her at times, but trust me, at no point was she in any pain and she is fine. Not all birds are as easy as that. Some birds, like the falcons, have got things like a tomile tooth that you have to shape in, and so it makes it a little bit more difficult. I also tail mounted and put new equipment on her, so keep your eyes peeled for a future video where we'll see all of that. Make sure to subscribe for more falcon related content. That's all for now, bye! <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs>